So Jan Chu, thank you very much for meeting me. Um, 2019, it feels like a quite a monumental year. There feels like there is change afoot. Why agroforestry? So uh, agroforestry we're dealing as a system, not uh, so it's a agroforestry not to talk about diversity. We talk about the flexibility and the dynamic. So so this allowed you, if you are innovative enough, to think about use a different approach to solve the different issues. So uh, that's simply why the ugly forestry is so popular in 2019. And what are the, how, how do you see it as a solution then? What kind of problems are there that need to be solved where agroforestry can step in and, and be the innovative uh, solution to, to our issues we're facing? Uh, the solution, agroforestry is a big umbrella and often we look, more look at a species based, technique oriented. No, it's a, agroforestry is a social institution. It's a big framework included from producer to consumer. So, because now the today's consumer is unique, they're not uh, satisfied only eat the rice bread, and they need the, they need the diversity niche products uh, or exotic products. Like today in China, go to China, say, avocado. Oh, so fancy to have avocado. It's to replace the fashion. And so today's urban needs is quite different from past. So that's why all, uh, forestry is about not only about technology, it's about uh, social institutions, social movement, about the fashion. Yeah. And does agroforestry then provide an answer to the needs of a more bourgeoisie class then that want to kind of eat out of season and some might say even eat and sustainably? Is agroforestry kind of providing a, a potentially sustainable tool to, to do that? Yeah, and uh, agroforestry, because we often think about agroforestry in rural area, yeah. but it's, uh, now today it's agroforestry is everywhere, it's a low side and in the urban system. So agroforestry uh, is a multiple way of thinking and uh, often use uh, agroforestry as a symbolically look at the 3D, vertical and uh, dynamic. And uh, so agroforestry help you to think about the tree from different angle, but also even below ground. Today, another fashion talk about soil and the thing, the interaction between below and the above ground. So you said then um, that soil is something that people are kind of becoming more aware of. Soil health. What role does agroforestry have to play in that? I, I think agroforestry it's a fairly powerful tool to engage different stakeholder. It's a it's a simply you know, it's a bring back to nature through the tree as a symbolic, and because uh, today the public talk about it, you know, say, say carbon sequestration through the tree planting. And that's a popular concept, you know, that's uh, one. The second also is uh, scientifically, and we talk about uh, the soil community, and uh, now I'm talking about two types of soil. One is a virtual soil, to think about how to plant tree without soil. So that means you turn the, uh, any waste into substrate, you do compost, you do... So, and uh, today, urban people also supply with soil in different way. Of course, you know, say, how a tree link with soil, that's another dimension, how to basically, to, uh, to enhance the, the soil carbon, to enhance the quality of food, but also sometimes we have more carbon in the soil, so, can second straight as a greenhouse gas emission. Yeah. So agroforestry then is a way for not only to give us food but to sequester the carbon. Yeah. Into yeah. yeah. So is it a um, is it a solution to help combat climate change? Yeah, agroforestry. It's a very simple way to you know the as a most economic way to sequence carbon uh, in, uh, so in the landscape level. So that's, I think, uh, definitely the best solution. So I'd like to say the smart solution for uh, climate change. How do you even do a, a circular agriculture system? Okay, 
we often ask a farmer to plant a tree and uh, you cover the glass but the farmer say can I get the income and uh, as a scientist and uh, as an equal scientist say yes uh, and they will say how I say and uh, we have a mushroom factory and uh, we can buy biomass from you what kind of biomass you have and we all taking so we make a different substrate for different mushroom species some it's more to bring the woody uh, biomass some more vegetative biomass and as uh, like uh, elephant glass so we have a different mushroom species which need a different substrate and so that's one story saying so once you have a mushroom and then after growing mushroom by another group of farmer and then we when we replace a new mushroom back that to them we collect the old back mushroom and then we make a new composite so we make a compost fertilizer so we give to agriculture farmer and then do it again so the story you can always you know uh, make it a circular work that's one and then we see chicken farm supported by government and there's a larger scale and they we're talking about a hundred thousand chickens and uh, to, uh, then then you know every every day they have waste and the mainly it's just a shit and then they, they those waste they our government not allowed to dump into feed to to water because it's a pollution then we raise the, we put the insects inside the insects and the 20 days insects went from very young baby to big insect the insect and then we put it into bioreactor and put it into the organic fertilizer and the liquid fertilizer going to drip irrigation or you develop because the insects are mainly protein and then use the, uh, the insects as a feed for fish then you get the fish uh, then you know uh, the story we can always go in is the fish waste and then we use another insect to process to eat the, because the, the fish we're doing is a large scale tilapia farm so we meet the European, stand, European standard so mainly high quality tilapia meat export to Europe and then the waste again you cannot go to outside ecosystem then we need the insects again. <laughs> so the story, <laughs> it's uh, yeah. It's circular. Yes, it's circular. <laughs> yeah. And what do the in like? What what role do the insects play? So insects play, and it's uh, converting the uh, the uh, wood biomass or the 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 fiber biomass into basically protein. It's a conversion, like. Uh, like like, uh, like like a chicken and uh, then of course the insects are the best how to say and uh, they can convert 100% biomass into 100 equivalent protein so that's a high very efficient compared to chicken pork and uh, uh, pig and uh, cattle yeah. what happens to the insects so insects are multi-purpose and uh, you you, you sell into urban area for uh, for, for feed the pets, and then you 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 give the you feed the duck, and uh, you you give feed to chicken, and uh, all replace the fish powder for the protein source for any uh, animal feed, livestock feed, and or we we put into a uh, amium uh, uh, amimo uh, acid fertilizer and uh, because now is intensive farming need the drip aggregation now combine the fertilizer with water so that's a uh, the main function of insects and then we try to use leaf live insect to and to feed another carnivore fish see then carnivore fish has a very high value because they have less bone <laughs> <laughs> the Chinese we 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 like the fish alive, you know, the cornu fish. They eat the live insects, and then when they sell into market, still alive. So.
There are many people in the field that are linking agroforestry, agroecology and circular agriculture. How easy is that? Uh, it's not easy. No, but it's a good thing. So the, most of the challenge, you need the system thinking. So it's a problem now today, oh, I'm trained as an insect expert. You trained as a tree expert. Nobody talk about each other. So we, today we need a transdisciplinary. The insect expert you know how to manage the tree, how to manage the plant, and then so vice versa. So transdisciplinary and the system thinking is the first one. So second one, and also you cannot invest without a return. So you have to listen to the market. Where is the market? Particularly the new model, new products, and there's a new market. So that's you need a scientific innovation. You need to calculate how much labor and what's the, the cost of uh, infra infrastructure. Then you need to engage stakeholders to convince everyone, make everyone happy in the, the, uh, in the process. So three step and the make it work. Why are mushrooms so under-researched? Okay, because I'm a scientist and uh, I can easily train students to probably five, ten papers as one PhD because, uh, again, very few people study mushroom and uh, fungi, you know. And in the past five years, my team has published more than thousand new species. And uh, so that's... So make your citation make your impact factor high goes to mushroom so we have uh, we host the fungi diversity and the journal and uh, was impact factor 14. Uh, so uh, that's one uh, the second also the mushroom are fairly beautiful and the thing uh, you find different color, different shape, you know, and it, nobody pay attention. Everyone pay flower, attention to flowers and fruits, but nobody pay attention to mushrooms. And recently, we, we found a mushroom and, uh, and uh, how to say, it's a very shiny and blue color, and the public just pay attention, wow, what's a strange thing in the nature and uh, have such kind of color. So it's uh, really attract the attention. Finally, uh, the mushroom have value. And in uh, and, uh, my province, uh, we talk about the billion, billion dollars industry uh, for, the, for the mushroom. And, uh, we cultivate moran and uh, we export to Europe. And uh, now Chinese market also coming. And uh, another high value is chifu and then and uh, we have so medicinal value in the Lingzi and uh, uh, what's called the Ganodoma and uh, that's all linked to anti-cancer component and uh, oh, wow. yeah so it's mushroom it's a <laughs> yeah is that a problem that mushrooms haven't aren't particularly charismatic or beautiful to look at so they kind of fall out of favor with 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 the even the science community yeah no, that's uh, that's uh, the you know that's the way today we are struggling and we uh, everyone say we well, we are so advanced in science but uh, in so certain fields still science not so well advanced that's uh, the the fungi kingdom entire fungi kingdom. Yeah. You look like a fungi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.